Well, one way or another, this file's gonna end. Today. The funny thing is, if I succeed in this, I almost have gonna, I'm almost gonna get every single Steam achievement. <laughs> like, the effort to get the rest of them isn't exactly that big. Okay, well. It's a couple of things I just need to wrap up. While still being careful, of course. And careful as always. Certainly not dying to random explosions. That's that's not me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm feeling confident. We'll see how we go for time, because here's the thing. The other thing that is an achievement in this is to basically rush through the game and finish it within a, a, a few hours, which is doable given what I have learnt. Like, I went from 50 hours down to, like, just over 10. And that's, that's like, like, there's things I could have done better. So I don't know, we'll see. See where the night takes us. Well, this is definitely def different than the first time I played it now. It's fitting. It's like, again, with Breath of the Wild's second playthrough, I just made sure that I did the hard things that I didn't achieve the first time around. So. Characters up to the point where it's just as strong as the other file. And also, um, the other file now has its 112% achievement, so the other file is completely perfectly completed. Something I forgot about um, in my haste. Wow. So hang on. I don't have the, uh, the compass on, so I'm just trying to get my bearings where this is. Okay, I know what this is now. This is going to be... Okay, I know where I am now. Okay, so I need to go down, right, down. It's the one fight I haven't done, but it's no concern. I left it because it's kind of a pain to do without the Shadow Dash, but I have Shadow Dash now. Let's start with a warm up. Alright. 
Oh wait. I got a lock to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I feel like all the fights are done. Okay, I gotta make one adjustment to my build. We don't really need attacking moves. It's all about mobility now. Actually, hold on. That will probably be better. There we go. Station? Yeah. Alright, here we go. So death in this area is actually death. So there is no safety net here. Good thing about this hive blood is like just hang out and I'll be okay. Well, here we go. Super meat boy time. looking area though. This build, I am, I'm calm. It would be scary otherwise. Meat boy. Whoops. Wait for the hill. Okay. Damn it. We didn't dash through it. Mm. 
Oh, come on. Alright, maybe I just need to go quicker. Okay, take your time. There is no rush here. stress here. Ugh, hang on. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but that's how I'm doing it. I did better the first time I climbed it. Oh, come on. I can stand here and heal, heal at least. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was trying to like hop up. Oh, I shouldn't have gone. Remember this, or is this like a different path to what I took? Okay, it's actually just patience. Patience, he says.
Uh oh. That's not gonna fly. Do I need to? No, I don't need to do that. Alright, cool. Put through. Okay, that's the first one done. Oh, damn it, there were thorns there. Damn it, I couldn't squeeze in. There we go. Oh, come on. I heard the, the clink. Oh, wow, I'm back down here.
Oh, yeah, I mean, that's just if I'm doing poorly. Damn it. I'm getting greedy with this. Really? Oh. Oh. at least. Oops. It's all right. Let it heal. If it wasn't for this hive blood thing, I'd be a bit more worried. Conserving health would be so tricky.
just okay, just be patient. I wonder if like a desolate dive would be able to make it It'd be ballsy. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's worth a shot. It's not like I'm gonna lose health from it. Okay. Oh, shit. I forgot about those. Trying to bounce off it at the end. Oh, come on. Come on! <laughs> Gonna grab onto the wall. Better for combat than Meat Boy platforming. Death 
time I was too soon. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. I'll be okay. Made it. One step closer to the end. Basically, here we're gonna see the end in like the next 10 15 minutes. <laughs> so, probably should have budgeted this a bit better. But it's like, well, there's other things we can do post game. I'm like tossing up a decision here. That'll depend on whether or not I'm ultimately successful. They hit for two. I need to be careful. It's a cool scene. This is happening. I'm gonna have some of my drink. I need to manually control this. I forgot about it.
cool thing. Well, this is ready now. Checking my. Uh. Wait, there's something here? Oh, it's an arcane egg, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, so there's another one I missed, but it doesn't matter. The other file has 112 now, it doesn't matter. I have everything now. So, let's swap things out. I mean, I guess I have to think differently here, because it's... I don't need to be as evasive with this, like I could just go balls to the wall. We'll do this instead, which probably a good idea. And then just afford myself like the movement speed. I think this is the safer bet. sitting in the appropriate position. The percentage needs to be at least above 100 for me to get the two achievements associated with this, so let's, let's see. It's funny that I'm kind of doing the endings in reverse. It's like, do the hardest ending first, and now we work backwards. Okay. We 
to go on last bench before. Hundred and seven, we're good. All right, so I'm guessing the remaining five percent is the pantheons. All right, here we go. Expecting him to do the thing where he's shooting nails across the screen, but he doesn't do that. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Yeah, not yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this shit. down to this. the extra health, I want the extra health, I want the extra health, it's fine, it's fine. Go healthy. Nowhere near the process that the other one was. Can 
be a little bit greedy with this. Oh shit. Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. There's no one here as involved. Only the other version of this was over at that point. All right, we're good. Okay, well, that's uh, that's steel mode finished. I didn't die. Yeah, taking the extra health was the right call. <laughs> I would have been a little more stressed out if I uh, had not done that. So, I mean, the next thing that the Steam achievements require is, like, going through the game in just a few hours. Not all of it, just more like you get the worst ending, but then the game gets completed in, like, three hours-ish. But you don't have to do it on hardcore, it's like you can kind of... Take your time at it. I mean, given it hasn't even been an hour, shit. I thought this would take longer. I did not budget my time correctly for this. <laughs> well. It hasn't given me the achievements. Let's just let's just see. Maybe I'm speaking too soon here. I can't skip the credits, unfortunately. But um the other ending is basically you don't have uh, the Void Heart at that point. So you've got you've gotten the three big uh, souls and then you go to the middle right away without getting the upgrades and you fight it without the, uh, the Void Heart. So that's the other ending, which you can do really, really early. Um, but it doesn't have to be on steel mode, so it's like not as much of a hassle. If uh, there was any difference to steel mode in the, the Pantheon, I'd probably do the Pantheon, but it's identical. The only things that were outstanding was like the, uh, the Colosseum's third round, which eh, <laughs> you just get money for it. You've seen me do it. Could I do it without dying? Probably. Being fully stacked now with everything, I don't think it's worth the time. Like, the challenge of it was I was doing it when I was not uh, fully upgraded, so it was trickier to pull off. And then, yeah, it's just the, the Pantheon stuff, which we've seen. I'm not going to hit my head against that brick wall again. Um, it wouldn't make a difference anyway, because... E you basically, it, it doesn't affect steel mode. It's like, you die in there, it's fine. Nothing happens. So it's out of it. I could do it and just make the rule wall. If I die, that's it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm good. 
I beat the top boss once. I bow out gracefully after that. I'm... I was right about this, though. Like... The best way to do this is just do it immediately off the back of, like, just doing the Pantheon stuff, because then you're probably at the point where... You're not really struggling against the bosses. Like, you've gotten to the point where you're good enough. Finish the game in steel mode. Achieve 100% and finish the game in under 20 hours. Achieve over 100% in steel mode. I got three achievements for that. And we get a new splash screen to show that I have achieved the thing. So, I mean, there's one of two choices I can do. I can... There's a couple of achievements I haven't done in this file that are accessible. Or I could, like, just be like, screw it, let's just do the speedrun thing, which is like two and a half to three hours, which would round off the VOD. Or I'd just start a whole new VOD for it. Or I'd just cut cut it early here, it's like, alright, well, I, I spent less than an hour on this, which... <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I don't know if people are tired of this game yet. But, uh, hang on. The other achievement that I can do for this one is that the mushroom... Apparently, if you find him everywhere, like, I think there's six times he appears, he will give some lore to the story and then, um... Yeah, you get a little achievement for it. So I could look up the map and see where he is. Or I could just say, screw it. And just go for the speedrun strat. Does this thing have an inbuilt timer? Oh, show in game. Oh, you can do that? Oh, well, too late. Hang on. Ramat cap brightness screen scale these uh, cool. It doesn't seem to have that option. I guess I just have to trust that I'm doing it. I did get my charm back. I'm so happy that it didn't count towards the per percentage. Okay, let's just see if there's any sort of... Alright, so here they are. So, the ones remaining are like, leaves out to die. Speedrun. Those are the speedrun ones. No, wait, no, they're not. What is... Oh, right. One of them is the mushroom one. And the other one, I believe, is, like, you don't do Grim. Um, you banish them right away, which... Yeah, it'd, it'd be that one. Interesting. The one underneath would be Grim. Let me see. I'm gonna find the master list of this and see what it is. At this point... Like, I've done the hardest shit <laughs> already, so... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, here are here they are. Okay, so hang on. Okay, so passing of age, that's the mushroom one. So that's that one there. That one is Grim. So you gotta banish Grim without the fight. That's fine. The two speed runs, which you'd basically go for the under five hour one. I almost did under ten. Um, what are these two? Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay. So one of the endings is you gotta beat Hollow Knight with Hornet by your side, but then I guess you don't do the grand finale thing that I just did. I'm working backwards. <laughs> sure, why not? We are. Right. At least now I can do this a bit more haphazardly. That's, that's gruesome. Like... I figured this would only take a minute. Alright, so you have the you have the choice of either doing the dream thing or doing this. At this point, these are bad endings. <laughs> now we go. This, this feels like a, a minor oversight, just not being able to skip the credits the first after the first time. Um, but that's that one. Right, so the only the only ending remaining is the bad one, which is you straight up just go there. Yeah. So... If I was to do, like, the speedrun thing, I could get the remaining ones, and then the only thing missing is the mushroom thing, and then I have 100% the game. That's tempting. <laughs> Given this, the steel mode run, like, it took 10 
And that's me getting basically everything. But this is just going to the three corners of the map, collecting the bare minimum, and then fighting the Hollow Knight and just it's not really too bad. Um, and then all that would remain would be the mushroom thing. I mean, it's still early, so I could probably do it. I'm leaning more towards doing it. Because I don't have to do any of the other stuff. I'll read into how you actually banish Grim, because that would be something that'd be... I'd be doing it on that file. So how do you banish Grim? Okay, let me read. Right. So when the Grim troop appears, get the Grim child, okay. Yeah, this is what I want. So you have to get to the final phase, and then he says he will... ...suggests breaking the cycle of the ritual and banishing the troop from Hallowness. He then tells the knight... ...should meet him where it all began. Returning to Grimm's tent, the three flames, alright. Yeah, if instead... Bra Brom is approached at the Helling Cliffs. The knight can help him destroy the Nightmare Lantern and banish the troop. Doing so removes the Grim Child charm from inventory and grants the banishment achievement. Returning to Dirtmouth reveals the presence of a new NPC, Nim. While the entire troop is nowhere to be found, speaking to Nim grants the Carefree Melody charm, which takes up the same slot. Huh. Fake ending because I had I didn't have it yet. I've done all the stuff. <laughs> I just didn't have that ending, so I did the the bad ending on purpose. That's all. I'm just reading like what's required for the Steam achievements because I've done I just finished Steel Mode. So I'm debating whether or not I do like the speed run thing, and then it's well the game's a hundred percent basically. I think I'm gonna do it. It's like at this point I may as well. <laughs> I've gone this far. Even the Pantheons? Yep. First file, Pantheons done. And then this one... I don't do the Pantheons, because it's like... It doesn't matter. Alright. Um, tell you what. I'm gonna take a small intermission. I'm gonna do this. Because it's still early in the evening. And I budgeted more for this. I kind of got through the Ender Steel mode too quickly if that makes sense um but i'll end the vod here if you're watching this later on youtube so this is a bit of a shorter one i just got the end of steel mode and just did the bad ending uh so yeah hope you enjoyed steel mode i'm gonna try and do the sub five hour thing i'm pretty confident i can do it uh but that'll be in another video so if you're watching this thanks for sticking around to the end hope you enjoyed uh, if you do want to support the channel in the meantime, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play games that don't involve the Hollow Knight by clicking one of those videos. Uh, thanks to those that do that. Appreciate it a lot. It does help. Alright, see ya.